Addiction to psychostimulants like methamphetamine remains pervasive and without pharmacological treatment. Previous studies have shown that serotonin, or 5-HT1B, receptor activation disrupts the expression of meth preference in adult male mice. We hypothesized that zolmotriptan, an FDA-approved 5-HT1B agonist, would attenuate the acquisition of meth preference in adolescent male and female rats using the condition place preference paradigm. 28-day-old rats were given free access to a two-chambered box for 20 minutes for a baseline assessment. During the eight-day conditioning phase, rats were administered either meth or saline prior to confinement to one side of the box for 30 minutes. Additionally, rats were administered either zolmotriptan or vehicle 15 minutes prior to drug administration. On the testing day, 37-day-old rats were again given full access to both sides of the CPP box in a drug-free state. The difference in time spent on the meth paired side from baseline to testing, or preference score, was used to identify an increase or decrease in meth preference following conditioning. Preference scores were compared both between and within groups. Results showed that mountain rats pretreated with 0 mg of zolmotriptan or vehicle spent significantly more time on the meth paired side after conditioning with the 0.25 and the 0.5 meth doses. In contrast, males that were pretreated with 10 mg of zolmotriptan exhibited reduced preference scores for meth at the 0.25 dose. Female rats pretreated with vehicle exhibited increased preference for the meth paired side when administered any dose of meth. In contrast, female rats pretreated with zolmotriptan only demonstrated preference for the 0.5 meth dose. Our results indicate that zolmotriptan has an attenuating effect on meth-induced CPP in adolescent rats. In comparison to prior literature, our findings suggest that preference for meth-paired environments is influenced by other factors, such as age, sex, dosage, and animal species. Together, the results of this study indicate that 5-HT1B receptors may play a critical role in the rewarding effects of psychostimulants and may potentially serve as novel therapeutics for addiction.